Um, all these fawns, these right. runs. Um, how hard is that to snap the ball precisely? I got to get it. Yeah. it yeah. How cool is it to see your center over there? Charles, but, you know, we've had a lot yeah, it's it's uh, pretty cool. You know, I think I'm more proud of his mustache, but <laughs> the sweater's pretty nice. Would Adrian Martinez wear a 9 a.m. shirt? No, I won't. Uh, I don't think I could. I could do that, but it is cool to see my teammates do it, and um, my family and my girlfriend got a shirt. It, it, it just shows you what NIL is and, and what it means. I mean, it's kind of a dream growing up as a kid, seeing that type of stuff, so uh, you never know how long it'll last. Too. With the 48 hours of perspective, how do you evaluate the offense's play from Saturday? Yeah, um, I think we were solid, uh, but room to improve, right? Um, I think, again, what I said after the game, a couple ment mental errors, um, a couple penalties. I think we were in third and long, maybe a few too many times. Um, and there's some things that, that we could do to correct that. Oh yeah. What what can you do in terms of pocket presence? Those things. What did you notice? Yeah, I think uh, sometimes uh, just a reminder of having that clock in your head, when to get down to your back, and when to scramble again. There's a fine line between. Um, when to hold in there and throw the ball and when to scramble and get yards. So continuing to find that and continuing to know which plays I can do that on and which ones not to. How important will it be to stretch the field against the Missouri defense? Yeah, I think it will be important. And that's something that, that we're looking to do. I think it's critical to any offense to be able to do that. What's from Missouri in particular? Look, they look like they brought a lot of pressure. Uh, as a quarterback, does that kind of change your mindset and maybe look for those big plays? Um, I wouldn't say that in particular changes my mindset about looking for big plays, um, but it is, again, goes back to that time clock in your head and knowing when they're bringing pressure, knowing when you got to get it out. How comfortable did you feel running the football on Saturday? Yeah, I felt very comfortable. Um, it's, it's part of my game and it's something that I'll continue to utilize. Have you got some things in film evaluation that kind of set off a light bulb? Um, yeah, I, I would say so. You know, each game you go over the film and, and review certain plays, and I think uh, a couple of those, yeah, of those plays might change how I do things in the future. How pumped are you from Missouri? Uh, incredibly excited. You know, be a part of a, an old school Big A rivalry. I know we're sold out, and uh, we have a lot of Missouri guys on the team. You know, a lot of guys that are passionate about this game. When you think of SEC, what comes to mind? Here? Um, you know, they've, they've dominated the last uh, several years of the college championship, you know, um, and, and they're always seen as a very talented uh, conference. So it'll be a challenge, and I think no matter what SEC team you play, you know it'll be a challenge. When you went back and rewatched the Thanks, game, how many, how many more shots could you have taken? Uh, uh, I mean, I, I couldn't give you a number to be true. Were there some opportunities you saw that you know, we should get it done differently? Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I think there were a couple throws that I wish I had back and, and a couple other plays that I wish I had maybe taken more of a chance on. And um, that's part of the game. And again, first game, I think you, you continue to get more comfortable and you continue to learn things about your team and your offense. And, and that's what I'm doing. Uh, sure, it's hard to compare the home game Lincoln and the home game here. Yeah. What are some of your favorite yeah. kind of aspects of the bill like that? Yeah, I, I would say uh, it, it kind of goes along with how I feel about Manhattan, the community. It felt personal, you know. It felt like the, the crowd was right there, and, and they were really a part of that experience. Um, you know, Memorial can feel a bit grand at times, you know, and I'd say Manhattan, man, I, you can feel that passion from the student section. What do you feel about Jake Rudley's play on Saturday and did you get to go back and watch the film? Yeah, I, I was excited for him. I think um, the way he's able to rip the ball is, is really special. I think he's a talented kid and, uh, you know, made some good decisions out there. And I'm excited. He hasn't played a game in, I think, a couple of years. And for him to be, be able to go out there and experience that, it was cool for all of us. When it comes to the atmosphere, can you describe that first game at A State? Yeah. Um, I mean, the first the first play we had from offensive uh, from scrimmage. So, you know, Malik's screaming down the sideline, and everyone's going nuts. I think it's it's hard to beat that. Um, it, it was really special, and I think that truly made a difference for us and our team, and, and it will this Saturday too. Yeah, it was kind of feast or famine for the for the Mizzou secondary. They got three picks. They also gave up over 300 yards passing. When you kind of see the duality of those two things, what what, what goes through your mind when you're watching film? Yeah, you know, I think they're a, a really talented secondary, a really talented defensive unit. And, uh, you know, when looking at statistics, I think they can be deceiving sometimes. You know, when you're playing from behind, you tend to throw the ball a little bit more. So those things can, uh, those things can change. But I will say um, we feel like we have a good opportunity to, to do what we want to do offensively against them. How exciting is it for you to know that uh, more of the playbook might be open in game two than just the game? 
Yeah, you know what? I, I don't necessarily look at it that way. I will say um, Coach Klein and the things that we're going to do offensively, I am excited about. And, uh, you know, maybe that is opening up the playbook a little bit more. Is there anything that surprised you about Deuce Vaughn watching him play in a, a real game live compared to practice or on TV? Not surprised at all. You know, he's a stud. Um, someone had asked me earlier if I was surprised about the block he laid. and. No, you know, um, that's just the kind of player Deuce is, and uh, he'll never shy away from contact like that. When you think of Eli Huggins, what comes to mind? Uh, savvy vet. <laughs> you know, uh, he's a really, uh, really cool guy down to earth, you know what I mean? Shared a couple classes with him this last semester and got to know him a bit. And, uh, you know, I think whether it's a freshman walk-on or fifth-year senior transfer like me, um, he's the same guy every day. And I think people really appreciate that, that genuine nature he has. How about, how about Kobe Savage? What would you say is his uh, biggest you know, character trait on defense? Um, he's aggressive. And I, I think we all kind of saw that uh, in fall camp and in spring ball, that type of stuff. He'd come downhill real hard. But you never really know until you're out there. And uh, he really showed that that's what he's about. Um, and again, I think he's a great teammate. He, he has a contagious type of energy. Now that all the questions of, oh, what's the game going to be like? You know, how, how is the atmosphere going to be? Now that you've gotten that first game in Bill, in Bill Snyder Family Stadium out of the way, is there kind of just a little bit more pressure off your shoulders? Like, all right, now I know, now I can go play. Yeah, you know, I think it definitely adds a level of comfort now that I know exactly what it's like. Um, you know, it could truly feel a little bit more like home now that I've had that experience. Uh, and it's something that I'm hoping will we'll add to that comfort level. You talked about maybe wishing you had taken a few more shots, but was it nice to be able to kind of ease in the way you did with the big lead early and, and not feel a ton of pressure to, to win it by yourself? Yeah, you know, I think any time uh, you have a, a big play and then a special teams touchdown, it, it's huge for us. Um, so that definitely helped me feel a little bit more comfortable in the game. And, and by more shots, it just meant I... I would have uh, taken more shots personally. I think the calls that we had on were great and that those opportunities were there that I, I might have taken them a little bit. And those are some corrections you see when you go back and look at the film. How did you guys react when you heard about Taylor Portier's manager and that he'd be out for the rest of the year? Yeah, um, you know, TP is uh, he's a great guy. And uh, I think he'll be successful no matter what he decides to do after football um, in his career. He's just a real personable guy. and. He's one of the first guys I met when I came to Manhattan. Um, really took me in and has a, has a great spirit about him. So you, you hate to hear certain things like that. And uh, unfortunately, it's, it's part of the game, but I know it'll bounce back and it'll only be a speed bump for him. And then what do you think about Hadley's play against the season, be stepping, stepping into that right guard spot? Yeah, um, I think Coach Riley does a great job with those guys. And uh, they really take on that next man up type approach. And uh, no matter who's in there, they'll do a great job and I have faith in those guys.